and this episode of Knack Edition will show you how to make a creative and fun placeholder that not only catches the eye of the people at the table, but also makes for a great momentum after the dinner. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. You'll need styrofoam eggs, craft glue, pipe cleaners of different colors, crazy eyes, red construction paper, yellow construction paper, scissors, pen, thumb tags, and of course your little name plate. First you start with your styrofoam egg and you'll take the dark brown pipe cleaners and what you want to do is you want to kind of drive the uh, pipe cleaners into the styrofoam to where it sticks like so. And then once you get a firm, once you get nice and firm, you can go ahead and start wrapping the pipe cleaner around the styrofoam egg and then you kind of stick it in there like so. See how I'm sticking it in there with the pipe cleaners like that. Due to time constraints, I've already finished up wrapping one egg and the finished product, as far as that, will look just like this. Now it's time to go ahead and start giving your turkey feathers. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make a little fold like that and then kind of crimp it together. Maybe give it a little twist. Give it just a little bit of a loop so that you can see that it is a feather. And then you want to take the back of your little turkey egg right here. And again, you want to start driving it into the styrofoam. Now, we're gonna, now that we're kind of done with this, we're going to kind of set this off to the side real quick. Because now we're going to go ahead and make the beak. Or your little nose, rather. So this is when you're going to want to take your thumbtacks. Okay. And your red construction paper, because no turkey is complete without the gobbler. So if you want to go ahead and draw... A little squiggly line, it doesn't have to be perfect because no gobbler really is. We'll go ahead and make our gobbler about that big right there. A little squiggly line. And then you're going to take your scissors and you just want to kind of cut along the squiggly lines again. It doesn't really have to be perfect. Just so that you can get the idea of what it is you're looking at. Now that you've got your little gobbler right there, you want to go ahead and take the thumbtack and apply it through the hole and again if need be have your mom or dad help you and it's going to look like that but you're not completely done because no turkey that I know of is going to have a clear little beak so you take this wonderful yellow construction paper right here and we're going to kind of go ahead and cut around it to kind of cover up that little thumbtack. Okay, now if you notice I made a long strip of paper, that yellow paper. And we're going to kind of wrap it around like so, see how it is covered like that, and if you want to, go ahead and add a little glue. So now that that is stuck on there, you don't see any of the clear plastic part on the thumbtack, go ahead and attach your gobbler if it fell off, which mine did. I hate it when my gobbler falls off. And then, we're going to kind of take your turkey that you've already started to make, and we're going to attach it right in the center, roughly. And now you have your nose, your little beak, and your little gobbler. So let's go ahead and start adding those eyes. We went with the, uh, I went with the little medium eyes right here. You can go with any size. You can go with small. You can go with big. It doesn't matter. But uh, I went ahead and played it safe and went with the medium eyes. And then you want to find a spot on your turkey. And go ahead attach the eye, like so, we got one eye there, and now your turkey can see. Alright, look at that, isn't she a pretty beauty? She is. I think my turkey would look pretty cool with some feet, so we're going to go ahead and add some feet. So what you want to do is, again, you can take any color of your choice, I'm going to go with the light brown here, and you're going to kind of take, a, take the end of the piping stick. Alright, so we've got this part right here, okay, and then you want to take this end of it, no. Okay, you've got this right here. Then you want to kind of make a, with your finger, make a little U. A 
U shape and then come back over with your thumb and then crimp again. I like that word crimp. Crimping. We're crimping today. It's a fun word. And then make that U shape again to where you get three little little feet right there. Okay? And then you're gonna wanna twist it like this. My turkey's gonna end up looking like Shaq. It's got pretty big feet. <laughs> again. Turkeys don't have to be perfect, do they? They can have as big as feet as you want. Due to time constraints, we went ahead and uh, made the legs just like that. Okay, after we got done with our little crimping. And then, of course, we went ahead and cut them, uh, cut the piping. Go ahead and attach the legs like so. You should hear a little crunching sound as I go in. That's just the styrofoam, no worries. Okay. And now your turkey is sitting down like so. Looks pretty good. But now it's time to make that final touch. Go ahead and get the name tag of your family member. And now you have the perfect turkey for your perfect turkey dinner. Reporting for NAC Edition, wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving. This has been Richard Hayfley, signing out. <laughs> <laughs>